Well, good morning. I'm Marshall Blaylock, pastor of First Baptist Church in Charleston, here this morning at St. Michael's Church in downtown Charleston with my colleagues here from the five downtown churches that are working through Psalm 22 on every weekday during Lent. Our verse today is Psalm 22, verse 18. It says, They divide my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. This verse might sound familiar to you because it's repeated again in John chapter 19, where the Apostle John quotes this exact verse related to the soldiers who had arrested Jesus, who had beaten Jesus, who had tortured Jesus, who had whipped Jesus, and had nailed him to the cross. And now, as part of the crucifixion process, they take everything away from the one being crucified. And at that point, they had taken his clothes, the last thing that that he had. They divided them up, but one particular garment, John says, had no seams. It was seamless. And so they had to gamble over who would get that one. That's the seam at the cross. Jesus on the cross, we know, began praying through Psalm 22 as he began it in that powerful text where he says, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And now he's there on the cross watching these soldiers who were gambling away his last clothes. A couple things to note here. One, this teaches us something powerfully important about what Jesus was actually doing on the cross. 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9 says, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor so that through his poverty, you might become rich. Here we have Jesus Christ, King of kings, Lord of lords, creator of heaven and earth, Lord of all things, glorious, powerful, almighty, and yet here he is giving his life on the cross for the sins of the world. And owner of all things, and yet now, the last possessions he had in this life, his clothes were taken from him and the soldiers gambled them away. It's fascinating to think about that because we never think about Jesus on the cross as he really was. But it's an important truth because if you recall in Genesis chapter 3, Adam and Eve, when they sinned, what's the first thing that they noticed? We're naked. When God came to call on them, They ran and hid because they were naked. And now, here's Jesus on a cross, Lord of all, giving his life, naked on the cross for the sins of the world. That text where he says he became poor so that we could become rich. He who was rich became poor so that we were poor might have his riches. There we see it. We needed to be clothed with the righteousness of Christ. Romans chapter 13, verse 14 says, we're to put on the clothes, the clothing of the Lord Jesus Christ. And on that cross, what he was doing was giving his life, his life for you and for me. So we have two choices. We could be the soldiers. They were sort of gambling away his last clothes. It meant nothing to them that he was on the cross. Or we can be like those who, when he died, said, this man, truly this man is the Son of God. This morning as you begin this Friday morning, I want to encourage you, put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Clothe yourself in the Lord Jesus Christ, his grace, his strength, because he gave his life for you so that you who were poor could become rich in his grace. We look forward to seeing you on Monday morning.